Welcome, my name is Mark Janaud and welcome to the Cybersecurity Show. Now, this video serves as a warning to iPhone users because there is a sneaky fake lockdown mode attack going on. So iPhone users, including myself, there is something plaguing the Apple's iPhone sphere. So in this video, I'm gonna break down this sneaky fake lockdown mode attack and I'm gonna show you how to properly enable lockdown mode on iPhone, your iPad, or Mac. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You know we're going dark. A new post exploitation tampering technique can be abused by malicious actors to visually deceive a target into believing that their Apple iPhone is running in lockdown mode when it's actually not and carry out covert attacks. The novel method detailed by, uh, I can't even say the name, Peter put the name on the screen, Threat Labs in a report shared with the Hacker News shows that if a hacker has already infiltrated your device, they can cause lockdown mode to be bypassed when you trigger its activation. In other words, the goal is to implement fake lockdown mode on a device that's compromised by an attacker through other means such as unpatched security flaws that can trigger execution of arbitrary code. Lockdown mode introduced by Apple last year with iOS 16 is an enhanced security measure that aims to safeguard high-risk individuals from sophisticated digital threats such as mercenary spyware by minimizing the attack surface. What it doesn't do is prevent the execution of malicious payloads on a compromised device thereby allowing a Trojan deployment on it to manipulate lockdown mode and give users an illusion of security. In the case of an infected phone, there are no safeguards in place to stop the malware from running in the background. Whether the user activates lockdown mode or not, security researchers uh, Hugh Key, please put that on the <laughs> screen, Peter, and Nir uh, Avraham. Peter also put that name on the screen, said. That's what they said, right? The fake lockdown mode is accomplished by hooking functions. Set lockdown mode globally enabled, lockdown mode enabled, and is lockdown mode enabled for Safari? Uh, Peter, you can also put those three controls on the screen that are triggered upon activating the setting so as to create a file called Peter, you can also put that on the screen that fake lockdown mode underscore on and initiate a user space reboot which terminates all processes and restarts the system without touching the kernel. This also means that a piece of malware implanted on the device sans any persistence mechanism will continue to exist even after a reboot of this kind and uh, surreptitiously spy on its users. What's more, an adversary could alter the lockdown mode on the Safari web browser to make it possible to view PDF files which are otherwise blocked when the setting is turned on. Since iOS 17, Apple has elevated lockdown mode to kernel level, the researchers, the researchers said. This strategic move is a great step in enhancing security as changes made by lockdown mode in the kernel typically cannot be undone without undergoing a system reboot thanks to existing security mitigations. The disclosure from, you can also put that name on the screen, Peter, arrives nearly four months after it demonstrated another novel method on iOS 16 that could be abused to fly under the radar and maintain access to an Apple device by tricking the victim into thinking their device's airplane mode is enabled. Here is how to properly turn on lockdown mode. Now, for a complete set of protections, you should update all of your devices to the latest software and turn on lockdown mode for all of your devices. Bullet point number one, lockdown mode needs to be turned on separately for your iPhone, iPad, and Mac. Bullet point number two, when you turn on lockdown mode uh, for your iPhone, it's automatically turned on for your paired Apple Watch. Bullet point number three, when you turn on lockdown mode for one of your devices, you get prompts to turn it on for your other supported Apple devices. When lockdown mode is turned on, you might receive notifications when an app or feature is limited. A banner in Safari indicates that lockdown mode is on. Now, how to turn lockdown mode on iPhone or iPad? 
Number one, open the settings app. Number two, tap privacy and security. Number three, scroll down, tap lockdown mode, uh, then tap uh, turn on lockdown mode, right? And then uh, also, uh, you know, this is for other devices, tap turn on lockdown mode, uh, tap turn on and restart, then enter your uh, device passcode. And here is for the Mac, how to turn on lockdown mode on Mac. Choose the Apple menu, uh, then the system settings. From the sidebar, click privacy and security. Number three, scroll down, click lockdown mode, and then uh, click turn on. Number four, click turn on lockdown mode. You might need to enter the user password. Number five, click turn on and restart. Now, uh, what do you think about this story, this, this fake sneaky uh, lockdown mode that is co that can covertly carry out cyber attacks on Apple devices. That's that's uh, that's wow. Uh, what do you think? What is the cybersecurity measures that you think can counterattack this kind of sneaky attack? Let me know in the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. Please share the content. I appreciate your viewership and see you on the next video.